welcome to Tech for Experts and Authors. My name is Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Today, we're going to focus on a few productivity tips if you're using Microsoft Word, you know, the word processing document from Microsoft application, I should say. Well, it's a brand new week and uh, Monday morning, it's the first uh, work day after daylight savings time here in the U.S. So it's darker in the uh, in the studio here than usual in my home office. But I wanted to show you today a couple tips uh, related to kind of getting set up um, with Microsoft Word that hopefully will help you in terms of some productivity. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday on the program, I want to focus on some tips for editing documents and then Wednesday, the third day, focusing on uh, MS Word productivity tips, uh, some sharing ideas and thoughts. So you can see I have Microsoft Word here. I want to show you just four little short tips that I think may be of use to you when using Microsoft Word. When you open up a new document in Microsoft Word, it comes with a default font. You know, the font or the, yeah, the characters that display on screen. And it may not be the one you want. So you may find yourself changing that regularly. So I want to show you how to change the default font to be the one that you use all the time. So what you want to do is come up to the top menu. And we're going to select Format. See at the tippy top, Format, Font, and open up the font font menu, the format font menu. Not the font menu in what we call the ribbon down below, but in the top menu, format font. Now, this is Microsoft Word for Mac. If you're using Microsoft Word uh, for Windows, you can do it here. You can also do it right in the ribbon. In the bottom right corner, there's a little triangle, a little pull down that lets you open this up as well. Let's say I want the uh, font to be Helvetica and maybe a Helvetica 14 point. So we're going to scroll down and find Helvetica. We could go ahead and type it in there as well, but I'm going to go ahead with Helvetica. And you see it's a 12 point. Maybe I want my default font to always be Helvetica 14 point. Now I could click OK, and that's going to make Helvetica 14 point font size, a 14 point size, be the font for this particular new document. But if I want it on all documents I want, with the ability to change it if I need to in the future for that particular document, but it, setting it up as my default font, what you want to do is select the font, then come here in the bottom left corner of this little pop-up menu and click on default, left click on default. And what happens is there's another sub menu that pops up that says, whoa, wait a minute, you sure you want this? Do you want this to be the default font every time you open up a normal template or normal document? And the answer is yes. So now you've just changed your default font. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and open up a, a new document. So let's open up a new blank document. And we got that new blank document opened up. So let's come over here. And it what it did, it opened it up on my primary window where my webcam software is, <clears throat> Facebook Live. And let's say you do something <clears throat> on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Maybe it's a journal. Maybe it's um, um, daily notes. Maybe it's uh, a recollection of the business you did that week. Maybe the number of, of people that you reached out with, kind of like your CRM, your customer relationship manager software. You're kind of doing it using Microsoft Word. You have the ability to insert a date. Okay? Now, you can just put today's date, but if you do date and time, it, it has the ability to retain that date and time so that each time you print it out, it'll be relative to that particular day. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up the document. And then at the top menu, going to go ahead and click the insert button. And see, we have insert date and time. And then it says, OK, how do you want that to appear, Chet? How do you want that date and time to appear? You can have it with just the date or you can have the day of the week so like monday march right there monday march 13th 2017 so what's going to happen i can print this out and it'll have obviously today's date now when i go to this document tomorrow it'll automatically change and reflect tomorrow's date so that i it, it just allows you to kind of um, um, auto date it to auto time stamp it and date time it Maybe I do this only once a week. Well, the cool thing is if I do it on a Monday, every Monday when I come here, it's going to automatically change the date as well. So very cool, kind of quick and easy, but a nice way to, to change that up. 
Now, a lot of us, um, if you're using Microsoft Word to capture down your thoughts, those of you who are my, my fellow colleagues who are authors, perhaps, or, or experts getting ready to create a, a, a presentation, a speech, maybe it's a whole uh, workshop or a new online class, and you want to be able to be distraction-free and just focus. Sometimes it's hard given the buzz of technology. One of the things I recommend is go ahead and turn your Wi-Fi off on your computer so that you're not going to get auto-pinged. You can also turn off notifications, but sometimes just turning Wi-Fi off can be one of the best things unless you're using the Internet for research. If you just want to focus on the document you're writing, here's one way to do it. Go ahead and go to your document. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the document I already got going on. And in the bottom left corner, check this out. See this? The different views, I can left-click on Focus View. Focus view. You can see that in the bottom left corner of a Word document. When I click on focus view, it's it's like going full screen. It just shows that one document. I can still scroll in the document just like as if it was regular. And if I move my cursor to the top, you still have all the menu options. So it's not just a view. It's not just a presentation view like we we see in a lot of software applications. It actually allows me to edit the document. But again, it's allowing me to focus just on that document itself. Very cool. Again, that is the focus view available in Microsoft Word. To get out of that, just tap the escape key on your keyboard and it returns you to the original view. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and show you. I, I talked about the ribbon a moment ago. You can get rid of the ribbon, and the ribbon came in the later version, latter versions of, of, of Microsoft Office, both for Word and for Windows. And the ribbon is essentially like an extended menu that is common across all versions of Microsoft Office software applications. If you want to get rid of that, you can do that either by clicking the View button up here, see ribbon, and get rid of the ribbon here. And you can turn it on and off by touching the little tiny triangle at the top right corner of the document. Let me show you where that is. See that little button right there? In the top right corner, just tap it once and it will open and close the ribbon as well. Now let's show you one power user tip because we may have folks that are are like, okay, Chad, I know all that. Show me something I don't know yet. Maybe you want to make some forms. Maybe you want to put some forms in a document. You have to enable what we call the developer option in Microsoft Word. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into Word Preferences and it's found in the ribbon. We have to enable it in the ribbon. Microsoft doesn't have it there as a default because it's like extra special and I think they don't want to confuse folks, which we appreciate, right? So what we want to do is we want to come down here and open up the ribbon options. And as you scroll through the ribbon, you'll see there are a number of different things that are default that are already there and some things that are not that you could choose to turn on. Well, to enable this function, it doesn't take anything away. It just gives you an extra option. Click on developer right here. See the developer until we place the check mark or the tick mark. You see it's a blue line. Developer is now enabled. And what you'll see on the ribbon now, on the ribbon, Up here, we have a new function called developer. See that? Developer. So maybe I want to create a a form where folks are going to put in their first name and their last name. So first name. And then all I do is tap this here, add text box. See that? It puts a text box. So in my finished document, there's going to be a text box that somebody can actually type into. And then let's go ahead and do last name and tap text box again. And it creates another text box. We could format that too, but I just want to show you a quick lesson. Maybe you want a check mark, what we call a radio box, and attending the August conference. And it looks like I misspelled that. And then what you do is click check box. So let's say, Yes, checkbox. Or no, give them the option to opt out. Checkbox. So what you've done, check that out. Isn't that cool? So you've created the option to essentially make a form right inside of a Microsoft Word document. Very, very cool. 
And that is available in every latter edition of Microsoft Office. So let's come back and close this out today. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, Chet Davis, your technology tutor, another edition of Tech for Experts and Authors. If you haven't already, go ahead and click like this page, please. Like like that. Um, and also feel free to put a comment in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear your suggestions for future tips and tutorials. Uh, I, I'm only here because I love helping people learn how to harness the power that's in today's technology. There's so much we can do in the technology that we have in front of us, but so oftentimes we're barely scratching the surface. So it's, it's my role, it's my passion, it's my mission as a technology teacher to help you get the most out of today's technology. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to focus on uh, three or four tips for editing using Microsoft Word. Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Thanks for joining me today. Go out there and make it a great day. <laughs>